Hello, welcome to a new video. We are doing a reading challenge today. We are doing 24 hour readathon just because what the heck, why not? It is January the 3rd. I'm off work for the rest of this week. I don't start work again until next Tuesday. So I figured why not um, just do it. Let's spend some vacation time just reading intensely. Uh, it's 9.30 p.m. on Tuesday evening, and I think I'm going to start, like, right now. It's 9.28, so I have two minutes, and I'm going to start it at 9.30. is going to be my official start time. I was originally going to start tomorrow morning and do 24 hours from there, but I think, like, I'm ready now. I'm not doing anything else tonight. Let's just do it. So I'm just going to go quickly through what I'm hoping to read or kind of what I have to pull from. I've given myself fewer options than my whole big bookshelf because um, I get too distracted. I'd get too overwhelmed deciding. So I've narrowed it down. Here's what I want to read. Um, starting with All Down Darkness Wide by Sean Hewitt. This is a memoir. I really don't know that much about it except that people who have read it adore it. So I'm really excited to get to that one. Uh, we Spread by Ian Reid. This is the writer of I'm Thinking of Ending Things. It's supposed to be a really trippy, kind of spooky story, I think, about aging. I'm trying to pick, like, shorter books, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I say that as I pick up this one. The New Life by Tom Crew. This just came out today, so hot off the press. I'm getting with the buzz. Uh, this is a queer historical fiction novel. Also don't know too much about this. I like going in kind of blind. Um, but it's getting a lot of great buzz as well. So I'm really excited to read that one. Uh, okay. Those are my main three that I'm really going to try to read in the next 24 hours. Uh, I have a few digital galleys that I'm going to kind of pick from just to change up format a little bit. Um, I also have this one, I'm Glad My Mom Died by Jeanette McCurdy. Of course, everyone talks about this book. You know all about it by now. I haven't read it yet, but I do have the audiobook of this one. And I think that's what I'm going to listen to while I'm kind of doing other things in the next day or so. Just so I can still uh, keep working towards my 24-hour my goals. And I also have a graphic novel to be a good like kind of uh, palette cleanser. In between books as well. This is Ducks by Kate Beaton. This is um, like an autobiographical story of a girl from Nova Scotia who goes to work in the Alberta oil sands, which is a very common thing here. If, or if you don't know, I live in Nova Scotia. So this is a pretty uh, buzzy book around here, but also internationally as well. It was just on Obama's list of uh, his favorite books of the year for 2022. So yeah, those are my picks. If I get through them, I might pick something else. If I hate them, I might pick something else. I'm not going to stick to it too tightly. But anyway, I'm going to get reading right now. Probably start with All Down Darkness Wide tonight. And just read until I fall asleep. And then when I wake up, I'm going to keep going. So yeah, this is the official start of the 24-hour reading vlog. It is 9.32 and uh, I'll check in when I have some progress, probably in the morning. Good morning. Time for an update, I guess. Hello. I uh, did some reading last night, and then I slept for too long. So there's less than 12 hours left in this challenge now. We're going to do the best we can. I read 50 pages of All Down Darkness Wide, and I don't think it's the right book for this challenge. It's very beautifully written. But there's not much plot and I really want to be able to absorb it properly and um, without so much plot to push me forward it's going to be really hard to get through a challenge reading it I think. So I'm putting that one on pause for now but I'm definitely going to read it right away it's like probably tomorrow. Uh, I have started reading Ducks by Kate Beaton. I'm probably I don't know less than 100 pages into that but it's also really really good really beautiful so much about Cape Breton, which I wasn't expecting. Like, I, I was expecting, but I didn't know it was going to be that, like, specific. And, 
I've also started reading YN by Esther Yi, which is a book coming out later this year. And it's all about uh, kind of parasocial relationships. It's about a young woman who becomes obsessed with a K-pop star. Uh, and it's really, I'm really enjoying it so far. The main character is freaking bonkers bananas crazy lady. So I'm interested to see where it goes, how far things get taken in this book. So that's what I'm going to continue reading now. And I'll check in in a bit. All right, time for another check-in. I'm sitting in the same spot, <laughs> but uh, I have an update. It's now 1.30 in the afternoon. There is, I think, eight hours left in the challenge. I think so. Anyway, I have finished reading YN by Esther Yi. I really enjoyed it. It was very similar in vibes, I think, to The Idiot by uh, Batman. Or the, the protagonist seemed very similar to Celine in the that book. And I uh, thought it was just a bit more unhinged. Or not a bit more, a lot more unhinged. It was fun. It was a fun ride uh, about a K-pop fan who uh, takes things a bit too far. I've now started reading... The New Life by Tom Crew. I think I'm about 50 pages in. Yeah, page 57. Uh, so that's what I'm reading now. I just have some lunch cooking and then I'm going to eat that. And uh, yeah, I took the dog to daycare for the day. And on the drive there, I started listening to uh, Jeanette McCurdy's book. Uh, I'm not too far in it yet, but I am very interested, I think. What I'm going to do is after lunch, I'm going to do some chores around the house and listen to the audiobook some more while I do that. Uh, put some laundry away, do some dishes, all that good stuff. And then I'll have to go back to daycare to pick up Ernie later and I'll keep listening there. So yeah, that's my uh, update right now. So yeah, I'm enjoying this one so far. It's uh, a lot kind of heavier than I thought it would be. It's a, not heavier, denser than I thought it was going to be, but that's okay. I'm still enjoying it. And once I get into the flow of it, I've really um, enjoyed the characters so far and enjoy where it's going with the story. It takes place in the late 1800s in London. Uh, and it's a lot about sexuality and queerness, but uh, so far things are very repressed for these characters, but I think um, that's gonna change. Anyway, that's my update. I will... Uh, let you know how the chores go and how listening to more books goes. I think one of my other tasks, maybe later this evening, is going to be to take down the Christmas tree. So I'll be listening to more audiobook during that activity as well, probably. Anyway, thank you for uh, listening to my uh, babbling, and I'll be back in a bit. All right, so I'm just on my way to pick up the dog from daycare, and I wanted to give a little reading update. I really like The New Life so far. I'm about 150 pages in. Um, the two main characters haven't met yet. I don't think they're going to meet till the end, uh, but they've agreed to kind of collaborate on working on a book or a project, kind of advocating for, I guess, like an early form of gay rights, which... It's really interesting. I'm really interested to know about kind of the historical context of this book. Because um, so far it's just, uh, you know, two uh, men who are repressed in their queerness to uh, varying degrees and kind of following their lives. But also, um, yeah. Oh my God, I'm so awkward vlogging in public. Um, I saw someone vlogging yesterday at Costco and I felt so embarrassed just witnessing that. So <laughs> I'm so awkward now. Um, anyway, uh, the other book, I'm Glad My Mom Died by Jeanette McCurdy. I've been listening to that while I did some chores and on the drive here. The um, point that I've reached in the story is she just got cast in iCarly. This book is so like sad and but also so well written and uh 
it's kind of written from the perspective of the age she is for each of the stories that she's sewing. So there's not so much reflection. There's just like this blind love for everything that her mom is doing and telling her to do. And it's like really sad and tragic. And, um, but yeah, still very interesting. Still fascinated by the writing. I love her performance of the audiobook. It's really good. Um, yeah, I'm like glued to this. I'm excited to get home and do more chores. I don't know which book I want to read more of right now, but I am going to make dinner soon. So, uh, I'll probably be listening while I make dinner. I have about five hours left of the challenge. So uh, hopefully we can finish both of these books. That's my, that's my objective. So it's actually been a couple days. I just wanted to give my wrap up of the uh, reading challenge. So first I finished YN, which I already talked about quite a bit, but um, I really enjoyed that book. It was such a good social commentary on current fan culture and parasocial relationships and K-pop fans and just like general fandom. I really liked it. <laughs> okay, as I was saying, <laughs> uh, the other books I read, I'm Glad My Mom Died by Jeanette McCurdy. I listened to this one mainly on audiobook. I read the last like 50 or so pages from the book. Uh, I loved this. This was so good. Definitely worth all the hype. I think that Jeanette McCurdy is a fantastic writer. I can't wait to see what she comes out with next. Uh, and yeah, there were so many twists and turns in the story, especially a lot of things I didn't really expect in the last half um, in kind of her life after her mom died. Huge trigger warning. This goes so in-depth into eating disorders, which I wasn't really expecting. But um, yes, other than that, stunning book. Love it. And the other one, The New Life by Tom Crew. This was also fantastic. I really liked this book. It is a historical fiction novel set in the late 1800s uh, about two men, both academics, who meet through correspondence from um, encountering their work in other places or each other's work in other places. And uh, they are both queer ish one definitely one kind of tbd <laughs> and uh it kind of uh, is about them publishing this piece kind of defending queer rights and queer liberation uh which for the time you know things were tough for the gays And yeah, I also really enjoyed this book. It was uh, beautifully written. Uh, the story was so engaging. Uh, and then at the end, I learned that it's based on some true events. So that was really good. If you're interested at all in queer history, definitely check out this one. It's so interesting. Anyway, that's what I read for my readathon. I also started reading uh, Ducks which is a graphic novel that I'm going to keep reading, and also All Down, Darkness Wide, the memoir. I'm actually probably going to pick that up right now to keep reading it. It just wasn't the right fit for a readathon. So I'll see you in the next video. I'm not sure what that'll be yet, but um, yeah, let me know what you're reading right now, and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and follow me on Instagram. I'll leave a link in the description. I post a lot about what I'm reading over there. All right, thanks for watching.